Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite planning and budgeting reporting capabilities. I will start by showing you the NetSuite planning and budgeting financial dashboards. Navigating to the income statement dashboard, I can filter on dimensions on top of the dashboard for a different view. For example, I will change the fiscal year dimension from 2020 to 2021 and see how the dashboard adjusts. To create a dashboard, I can drag and drop objects onto the screen to create a view that meets my business needs. In this example, I have total sales, cost of sales, total expenses, EBITDA, and net income at the top, and I have line graphs of sales and expenses at the bottom. I can easily change a graph or style by clicking on the settings icon and then selecting the desired chart type. Regardless of chart type, I can drill down to the underlying details within the dashboards as well. NetSuite planning and budgeting reports can be generated in HTML, PDF, or Excel formats. Here I have an example of an income statement, a balance sheet, and a cash flow statement. By selecting Explore Repository, these reports can be added to a report book with a table of contents and automatically be distributed at month end to a predetermined list of users. Variance reports are the next thing we will explore. Here is a month over month variance report for an income statement. The variance report highlights any good or bad exceptions. On this report, I can add narrative directly to the report as well as cell based notes or include attachments to any individual cell. The audit trail will also show me who has left a note on each cell. Finally, I can drill through into the transaction details of an invoice in NetSuite from any NetSuite planning and budgeting report by highlighting the row, right clicking, and then drill through to income statement details. The drill through path from the income statement is filtered out on the revenue account, and the drill through report is now showing me the customers I sold to, the products I sold, and the location I sold out of and an aggregation of all the transactions from NetSuite for that month. I will right click on the cell that has the aggregation of all the transactions for that month and drill into the source. From here, I choose the transaction of interest and continue to drill into it. Now I'll navigate to the NetSuite save search. From the save search, I can click on the transaction of interest and since I drilled on a revenue account, I'll navigate to the AR invoice as it was entered in NetSuite. The last thing I'll show is how reports created within NetSuite Planning and Budgeting can be analyzed in Excel using Microsoft Office Smart View. If I go back to NetSuite Planning and Budgeting Home, I'll open an income statement, I'll go to Actions, and I'll say Open in Smart View. And now it's going to open the same report in the Excel interface. Once opened, I will click on the Analyze icon and it will unlock that form and take me into ad hoc mode in Smart View. Now I'll go ahead and update the spreadsheet. In this case, I want to pivot my scenario dimension to the POV bar, as well as pivot my fiscal year dimension to the POV bar. So now I only have periods on the column of the report. Next, on the POV bar, I hit the drop down box on the scenario dimension, and when I hit the ellipse of that dimension, I will select two members, one for variance amount and one for variance percent. I will then click OK. I now drag and drop the scenario dimension onto the columns of the report and go to my total year and pivot that to the POV bar. Next, I will scroll down to net income and keep only. I now double click back up the account hierarchy to get to a summary level income statement. I am now finished modifying this report and I want to save it. To do so, I click on Save as Smart Form and I name this new report Summary Income Statement. Once the report is done, I have now saved this report to Excel. So when other users are in Smart View, they can open up the report. The same report will also be saved in NetSuite Planning and Budgeting. So when I go back to the web and click Home, navigate to application and then my data directory i can now see the same report in the web thank you very much for watching this demonstration if you have any questions please reach out to your account manager or sales representative